All right. Okay, folks. All right. Fibonacci ratios and harmonic patterns. Now every Monday, every week, we go over the Fibonacci ratios, learning and understanding the Fibonacci's correctly, how to use the Fibonacci's correctly, in what situation must one use the correct Fibonacci ratios. It's like I always say, it's a carpenter's toolbox. You cannot use the same tools for all the situations. A screwdriver cannot be used where your hammer should be used. Now, for those of you who have not attended the previous sessions, every Monday we go over situations of the Fibonacci ratios. Just very briefly, this is my website. And on my website, at the lower half of the website, we have Fibonacci ratio PDFs, which are available as downloads, which are free downloads. We have gone over the introduction of Fibonacci's, we have gone over Fibonacci retracements and projections, which are the most commonly used ones. Then we have gone over the Fibonacci fans, the Fibonacci expansions, and now we are going over the Fibonacci harmonic patterns, the harmonic patterns based on Fibonacci's. Let me start off with the slides. In case you want to get a better idea, you can always download the PDFs from the website. Now, First and foremost, what exactly are harmonic patterns? Harmonic patterns are certain chart patterns which are very, very effective. There's something like you have an Elliott wave based along the same lines. They are five point waves, but they're very, very effective. The distinct advantage is that they rely on harmonic patterns. Right? Based on the slides, let's see. Now, harmonic patterns apply specific extensions and retracements to a price structure any price structure. Now these patterns are very, very powerful and often give you very straightforward entry and exit. That is the basic advantage. There is no guessing left over here. Since they rely on specific Fibonacci numbers, there is absolutely no guesswork. The most commonly used harmonic pattern is the Gartley pattern. This pattern has been around for a very, very long time and it is made up of a series of price reversals and retracement percentages. Now initially when somebody goes over a Gartley pattern or any harmonic pattern, it looks a little complicated, it looks a little confusing. But believe me, if you train your eyes to look at it, you will find opportunities everywhere and, and which is usually the fact. Now the specification of Fibonacci ratios within each structure it's very critical in determining the trading opportunities. Finally, as traders, what do you want? You are looking at price action. You want to determine where price is going to be in some time. You are going to follow price and trade the price. Now, mind you, there is a difference. I am not saying you have to predict price movement. This has always been a bone of contention. This has always been the difference, which I describe as you are not an astrologer you are not going to predict price movement. You are a trader. You are going to look at price. You are going to let price give you the clues as to where it's going to go. And then you are going to trade the price. As a trader, what you're looking for is an edge. You want to trade the markets on some successful setups. Anything which works successfully, anything which gives you an edge, gives you a better probability of the market. Right? Now, the Gartley or the harmonic or the Gartley pattern is based on the same principles that if you are looking at Fibonacci ratios and you can understand the mechanism or the price structure, it gives you an edge and you can anticipate price movements which surprisingly are very, very common. Right? Now, the Gartley relies on a 78 retracement. And it represents another way to capitalize of those caught in a 62% whipsaw. Let's get down to this. What exactly does this mean? Now, this classic setup was described 70 years ago and works just as well. Let's go briefly over the structure. What exactly is a structure of a harmonic? Just give me a moment. As I said, it is a series of a five-point structure where you have initially, you we are looking at a bullish pattern, you have initially price giving you, just a moment, sorry about this, just one moment, 
you have price giving you an up move you have a retracement which is generally up to 60 61.8% this is a normal retracement which everybody looks for a very brief overview on the side as to why does a harmonic pattern work for that matter why does a divergence work for that matter why does an elliot wave work remember when you're trading any financial instrument you're trading a currency you're trading commodities you're trading equities specifically in case of currencies you are not trading a currency you are trading other traders it is the psychology of the market that one must look at as to why price is going where isn't it rather obvious if you're buying something somebody's there to sell it to you and why is he selling it to you oh you're buying it that's all very nice very good and fine but then why would he do that right this harmonic patterns much like the elliot waves gives you the emotional structure behind the price right so initially what you're looking for is you're looking at a uh, up move i'm sorry first retracement price gives you a move back in the direction of the main trend and then gives you a sharper retracement down which as they say it takes into account or it catches those people who are trapped in a 61.8 retracement isn't it rather obvious now if i go over this i'm a novice trader let me get into this let me try and explain a little bit about the psychology of a harmonic pattern right what i am doing is i am a I'm sorry but this seems to be having some problems with this excuse me please right so i'm a novice trader what i'm looking for is initially i see price rallying up and it comes down on a pullback is rather obvious as a novice trader i would expect price to keep going up since it has found support over here so i would rather go long and place my stops beneath this low over here much beneath this low the professionals know exactly what's going to happen and they drive the price a little on the higher side and make it drop down again in effect taking out your lows taking out the stops now this is the psychology behind a gartley pattern let me not spend too much time on to this what i really want to go over is the technicals i'm just trying to explain to you why one should work one must know the mechanism okay what exactly is a gartley pattern what you're looking at is an uptrend first xa with price reversal the swing point xa forms the boundary of the pattern the gartley the most important point of a gartley is your entire pattern is played out within the boundaries of xa you have price going up here and even your reversal point d which would be coming would take place within the boundaries of xa something what you're looking at all right so you have then xa price d the point d as we are seeing over here is the reversal point of the entire pattern price is expected to reverse on a bullish gartley pattern price is expected to find support at the point d and price is expected to rally from here the exact set of rules as i said this pdf is available as a download you can study it i just want to go over it very briefly your first b retracement is 61.8 of xa your c point also comes up to approximately 38 to 88.6 percentage the most important point is your point d generally forms at a confluence of three factors this is the most important point of a gartley or of a harmonic pattern your point d forms at a reversal or at a confluence of three patterns one is your point d will form okay your point d generally forms at a reversal of 3 your xa 786% retracement of xa your bc let me go over this very briefly your bc will give you an extension 127 or 161 and more often than not your ab wave structure ab is equal to wave structure cd right now i want to go over a practical demonstration of this but just before this let me just go over it briefly this is a bearish 
cartle pattern which i just want to describe over here what are the characteristics now the characteristics is that this harmonic pattern even a cartle can be identified or found on any time frame and once identified it can be traded for a short position or a trade within the pattern the whole point is the first two legs of the waves of the pattern have been established the probability of your last wave towards the reversal point towards the reversal point is a very highly probable move so you can take this trade to the last leg and then trade the reversal from it for traders this becomes an excellent pattern because it is very very accurate requires a very small stop loss and gives a very very high risk to reward ratios all right so i'm just going to go over this now let me go over to the charts and we'll have a little bit of questions on this as i said this can be found across any time frame today just some time back during the london session there was on the 5 minute time frame we had identified a bullish gartley pattern on a 5 minute japanese yen let's have a look at it as to how it worked out and more important how did we identify it that's more important Just give me a moment. All right, just just one moment. Let me get back over here. Well, Sven, let me get delve a little into the psychology of trading of this. You can make a living from forex. You can make a living trading on any one pattern. The whole point is you have to follow it. If i am looking at only harmonic patterns only harmonic patterns then i have to have the discipline to wait for my price characteristics to form and if it does not form i am not going to take a trade you may get one trade a week you may get two trades a week you may get five trades a week that's not the point the whole point is if you are following a system it doesn't have to be a chart pattern it has to be any technical system If you look at my website, and this is something which I always try to follow, technical patterns are a very, very small part of your trading process. Your money management and your psychology of trading. When I say the psychology of trading, it means exactly this. First, you decide on your technical system. That, of course, is the base. I have never tried to diminish the importance of your technical patterns, but decide on the technical pattern, and then you have to incorporate the other factors into your trading plan, which are much more important than your technicals you have to have your money management absolutely correct predefined and your psychology of trading is nothing but if that if i have decided on this particular system i am going to follow only harmonics until and unless i do not get a harmonic setup i am not going to trade i must have the discipline to wait for that setup and not take a trade even if price starts moving somewhere if i'm losing out on a trade well too bad it doesn't fit into my plan and once the setup occurs i must have the discipline to follow my rules exactly patience and discipline this is very important and when you say that can you make a living i can assure you if you follow these simple rules just these basic rules you can make a living from trading A lot of people have done it. I have done it. You can do it. It's not difficult. The whole point is people just think it's only on technicals and looking at an indicator. I might get an entry, and that's about it. That is never the case. All right, let's get back to our system over here. That's right. It becomes this is just another tool. Technicals, as I always say, if you ask me to. break down a trading process a trading plan on a scale of 1 is to 10 i would say your money management takes five parts your psychology of trading would probably take three parts or maybe two parts i would say okay two parts and your technicals take place only three parts so your technicals are a very very small part of it if out of a scale of 10 your technicals are only taking a weightage of 2 is to 3 the rest of the factors don't you think are more important 
any tool you use if you are following a psychology of trading accurately if your trading plan incorporates everything you don't even need complicated patterns a simple moving average crossover will also give you a success in trading people try and complicate things a lot my job as an instructor or as a forex trader is to introduce you to co different concepts which are accurate and if you have seen i rely more on price action and fibonacci we are on fibonacci i want to introduce you to all the aspects of fibonacci knowledge gained is never knowledge lost any time it's going to come in handy the more you know the more it is today as an experienced trader i still feel that what i know is not even 50% of what the market has to offer trading is a never ending process never ending process of learning absolutely swen cvj i would agree with you on this you have to take into account everything and swen any pattern which defines something which has given you a definite rule a definite setup has to be good it's something which is very logical which you follow in life you're not going into a trade looking at some arbitrary patterns you're not going into a trade thinking or guessing that this is going to happen you're going to into, into a trade because of certain factors and getting back to this particular harmonic pattern a bullish gartley pattern all right let me zoom it inside and let me show you what exactly how would one identify it and what is the trade what one would take as a trade right now this is i have put the triangles over here if these are my points so i have a problem writing it over here but in any case first let me plot my fibs over here and let me tell you how i identified this particular pattern and how i could have traded this oh i i didn't take it i took a long on to this i did not trade it within the pattern but you could have initially when price gives you a pullback first thing one or when you are looking for a harmonic pattern we are looking at fibs first thing plot your retracements very very simple so if i'm plotting my retracements price is giving me an up move my initial retracement came down to 50% stopped at 50%. Now this gave me an indication that we may be looking at a possible give me a moment. Okay. So when B stops at 50%, my next step is to see that this rally from my point B is it going to take out the previous high? If it takes out the previous high of A, let me define it before I get into just one moment. right this becomes my i'm sorry uh, this is x this is a this is p this is c this is t once i have my point b formed at a fib level i'm waiting to see that this rebound will it take out the high of the previous point a if it does not if price starts retracing from here then i have a very high possibility of my gartley being completed and then i am looking for a support level of point d now as i said this becomes very important for so my point d has to form at a confluence my point d has to form at a confluence which should be x a 78.6 that is the first one then i have my bc bc giving me an projection 127 161 which becomes my point 2 this becomes my point 2 and generally i will have my ab this wave ab should be equivalent to my wave bc a little too complicated over here just give me a moment right so i am looking at ab is equal to cd now just excuse me i i'm just uh, having some technical problems over here if i put on some of the application so initially what happened was after the rebound from the point d at a fib level 
rebound from a fib level. We had price rallying up but it did not take out the high of point A which means that I can expect price to retrace down and again at this stage if price does not take out the low of point X and if it stops at a retracement of X A I can expect price to reverse up from here. Price came down, stopped approximately, found support at the 78.6% and if you look at BC it also found support at approximately the 161 of BC. In this case AB would not be very much equal and they have to be symmetrical. They need not be exactly similar but the disparity may not be too long. This had told me that we are looking at a possible rebound from here. Waited for some reversal bars. Now we are talking about a five minute time frame. Reversal bars, waiting for price to go up. Of course getting an entry into a gateway is a different thing which we trade or teach in our live trading rooms. But the whole point is your targets. Risk to reward ratios, most important. You are looking at a trading pattern, you have to look at your money management first. Right? Your entry into this, let me let's put something very, very simple for entry. Something which I always follow is let's put trend lines. If I put trend lines over here, follow price and trend lines, then my entry is going to be over here on the break of this trend line. So I'm looking at an entry of 107.26. A very live trade is what we are looking at. This is my entry. My stop has to be beneath my point D, beneath the support of the reversal. Just a little below that, I could plot my stop over here. 107.14. Let me make it round to 104.10, just to be on the safe side. My risk in this case is 16 points. What are the targets? Your targets become your point AD. Again, I'm looking at this entire AD projected 127, 161 towards the upside. So what I do is I will plot my fibs on this and expect price to go up to 127, 161. Look at where price went up. So my initial target was also the 127. Secondary target 161. Risk to reward ratios. Look at the risk to reward ratios. Most important, your trade worked out. That's not very important. If you follow the rules properly, your trades will work out. This could be just a coincidence why it went up. But more important, if it did work out, this was my risk. This was my initial reward risk to reward ratios are accurate. This was my secondary reward and you can see price stopped accurately at the 161. Right now this is something which I always like to talk about and something which I always like to say is tell me that the fibs don't work. A very live example. There have been a lot of questions whenever I have gone over Gartley that it's complicated. Definitely I'm not saying it's an easy process but it's well worth to study it there are different other patterns also. Very briefly, if I have time, I'll just go over the different patterns. Practical applications are more important. If I'm telling you something is going to work, I need to demonstrate it on a live pattern, on a live chart to tell you. Looking back at something and saying or just studying the theory is very, very easy. You need to implement this technique onto your trading. If you need to implement it, you need to understand it. You need to understand the structure. You need to understand why it works. Where is your entry? Where is your exit? Your entire trade plan has to be built up behind it. Right folks? So any questions on this one before I go briefly over the other patterns? Bob, I'll just go over it. Boyke, how often do patterns complete? I would say they have a 90% chance of being completed. It's very, very accurate. I'm um, sorry, Jack, a larger time frame. 80% patterns, about two types will be completed. Well, there are also, Jack, let's put it this way, there are rules about this one also. Very, very basic structure is there. there are certain reversal points. If I may go over now, Baba was asking how is your entry point determined? 
Bob, your entry point was determined by the trend lines, right? I have these two trend lines. I have just plotted my trend lines, one trend line, second trend line. After price reversed or gave me the conditions of the reversal from the point D, where my point D did form at a confluence of levels which I am looking for, price did manage to go up, but I am going to take a trade when price breaks my first trend line. This was my entry. Now there is one more rule about this which generally it says as I said being completed well there are reversal zones for this all right you have this move BC into a pattern to a small bullish move you take the same distance and you plot it on your reverse reversal point D if price manages to break this level probability of price going up to 127 161 is very very high if price has to reverse the whole logic behind it is if price if your gateway is not going to complete then this would be the situation from where it would reverse if it manages to cross this then you have a very very high probability of price getting completed right so completion depends entirely on that Jack, this is the basic point. It's not only on this pattern, Jack. From experience, I can tell you, Forex by itself requires a lot of experience. I have been talking to a trader. I, I mean, CVJ and me have talked about this over here. Would you look at a comparison of a surgeon, a lawyer, a pilot? Do you think that they take a course of about one week? or they take a course like forex traders often do that they take a course of hundred dollars understand the indicators and get into trading do you think you can do that you need experience in everything in each and everything and this is exactly where the most of the traders get wrong in more here all right folks so uh, I'm sorry about this so, uh, as I was saying this requires any pattern for that matter whether it's a harmonic pattern even if you talk about simple moving average crossovers moving averages are usually lagging and to understand it correctly you have to get it understand the process completely all right now let's before we complete let me just briefly go over the different kind of patterns the different kind of uh, harmonic patterns which are there the Gartley is the most commonly used I don't want to confuse things but as once you have the PDF over there you should have an awareness about what the other patterns are by right, coming back to the slides over here you have one which is called the bad pattern which is very similar to the harmonic pattern the difference is over here there are certain subtle differences which differentiate them one is in the bad pattern your B your first retracement XA retracement of XA to point B is a very shallow retracement in a Gartley pattern your retracement B is usually to the tune of 61 to 78 percent now in a bad pattern you will find your B retracing to 38 percent if that is the case then it's just a question of simple logic what we call is if your initial retracement is a little shallow your point D becomes deepened your point D goes up to 2.618 in our case in the Gartley your point D uh, I'm sorry goes up to 88.6 let me concentrate on my XA goes up to 88.6 of XA in a Gartley it was 78.6 this is one harmonic pattern then the other kind of harmonic patterns are extended patterns as we mentioned your Gartley pattern and your bat pattern takes place within the boundaries of X and A your butterfly pattern extends beyond the boundaries of XA now in a butterfly pattern your initial retracement of XA which is B is a very deep retracement if that is a deep retracement then your subsequent 
retracement down to point D is even deeper. I'm just trying to give you subtle differences. You can study it. And let me go over this. The third one is a crab pattern, which is not very, very often found over there. But this is a pattern which has got very, very precise ratios. If ever you come across a crab pattern based on this, you can rest assured that the pattern will complete. The whole point being, you have to understand the differences between why does a butterfly form, why does a gatlay form, and why does a crab form. Among everything, the most commonly patterns which I have come across are the gatlay, which I just demonstrated on the chart, and the butterfly. These are the two patterns which one does come across very, very often. The crab is a very rare occurrence. It does occur, but I have really not traded that so much. The bat pattern extension of the gatlay or a deeper gatlay also takes place, but you should concentrate more on the gatlay and the butterfly. If you understand the subtle differences between these two, and if you really study it, it just takes a little bit of time. If you spend time on it, it will be well worth your efforts. Alright, so that brings us to the end of the session. Now, if there are any questions, just let me know. Anything else you want me to go over? Just something else which I would want you to have a look at is uh, based on the Gartley patterns. I'm just looking at a GVP on the daily time frame. Right? And again, now this I'm looking at a butterfly. This is an extended. Now, why am I looking at this as a butterfly? The simple reason is my initial retracement. The whole point is whenever price gives me just a moment whenever price initially gives me a pullback the first thing I try to determine is the extent of this pullback this extent of the first pullback often gives me clues and I will not jump into a pattern I will wait for the third or fourth leg to complete based on this one on the British pound on the daily time frame we had the initial retracement going deep up to 78.6 that is the reason why I'm looking for an extension well I will not enter the pattern till we complete over here what I'm expecting is price to retrace down if it finds support over here then this is the long that I'm looking for again the whole point is how does one identify it how does one trade it but if you can train your eye to look at retracements, find the correct retracements, find the correct fib ratios, you have a very good probability of getting excellent trades for that matter. Simon, this particular PDF is available from my site, on my site as a download, and it's all there in the PDF. Alright, so folks, uh, this brings us to the end of the session. I think this is the end of the recording. And I'm here in the room for some time. If you have any questions, just let me know about it. Right? So Simon, this is my website. I'll just give you my... And you can go to the website. And you'll find the PDFs available as a download over there. All these patterns are given there. Alright folks, so if you have any questions, feel free to let me tell me about it. Uh, that's right Bob, the target level is same. Now any pattern, your XA, the direction of the XA is the direction of your pattern. Your target levels are in the direction of XA and well, if you go to it, let me just tell you your AD, the other extreme. AD, plot your Fibonacci's projections on AD, that will give you, ah yes, well, of course, a lot of, lot of work to do, trading involves a lot of work, it's never easy, and of course, if you have any question, please feel free to get back, I'm always there.